The Batman movie was fine, dude. It was fine. I just, I thought it'd be more fun. I don't know. It was like a Marvel movie with none of the, like, uh, comedy. Like, I don't think I laughed. There, I don't think there's a single joke in the movie. But even if it's not, it, even if it's supposed to be like a brooding drama, like a detective story, I think they also did a bad job at that. You know what I mean? In my mind, if you have, like, what is supposed to be a great vigilante detective, Batman, and then, like, a guy whose name is the Riddler, you should probably have what is a fun, you know, not, f like, fun in, like, a Sherlock Holmes or uh what's that one of Daniel Craig? I thought it'd be like that. Knives Out. I thought it'd be, like, Knives Out, maybe. You know? No. I, I don't think anyone knows. Ah, so where to start? Firstly, I'd like to say this, to be fair, is fine. It's just his opinion, Um, uh, no matter how dumb it is. I guess I really just take a small little tiny little issue with how he portrays the film, but I guess we'll get to that later. Now, here's what actually happened. This clip got posted and people did this. The Batman movie was fine, dude. It was fine. I just, I thought it'd be more fun. Then they stopped watching immediately and then they got upset. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what really happened was that people heard the entirety of the clip and zeroed in on the dumbest parts of it to respond to. I don't know, man. I've seen some of the dumbest takes in some half decent videos and most of the time they don't respond to every single line in the video because it just doesn't need to be a measured response. Um, kind of funny how it's the exact same thing you did to them. Lol. <laughs> Look at you, you got me defending Twitter. Fuck. Can I, can I, YouTube Nation, speak my shit? The Batman movie was mid. All superhero movies are mid. They already solved Batman over a decade ago. The Dark Knight's a goaded movie. But because it sells tickets, if they have the man who is afraid of bats in, under the suit, they, they just keep remaking them. That's all it is. I, God damn. L take. Biggest L. Okay, where to start with this one? I know he's a quirky, funny YouTuber. Haha, <laughs> look at this super <laughs> funny content, guys. He's funny. So it's fair to cut him some slack, yeah? But, um, but, uh, the idea of both an idea being done before, therefore everything after it is the lesser somehow, is an interesting one. And also the idea that all superhero movies being mid with the exclusion of a superhero movie. Great work, Ludwig. Flawless logic. All cinema. We have solved characters. As a humanity, we're done. We're, we've peaked. Batman is the greatest. Or, or maybe it's Superman or, or whoever. But I feel like that, that shit was written 80 years ago. And we should probably move on and come up with some new shit. Oh, that's right. I know he's implying that all superhero stories are the same, or I don't know, he's done such a big brain reverse Uno take on this response to the criticisms that I've got no clue what's going on in his big old brain. How about this? I I, I think that now hear me out. You know what guys? I I make videos responding to critics, but guys, let me say my shit. Okay. Just maybe the fact that Batman being written 80 years ago doesn't disqualify it from being adapted into a movie. I mean, Jesus, if that were true, we'd have no original stories at all. They'd all be the exact retellings of classical stories from whatever origin you want to point out. It's a pretty stupid thing to say because, like most of the DCEU, you just have to think about the statements being made logically for them to fall apart. It doesn't make sense because adaptations have been around, and here he's painting it out to be this tired and useless money grab from DC for them to make a movie about the same character. It's almost like there's a reason people gravitate towards this character. It's almost like the very thing Mr. Ludwig makes fun of is evidence for why people love the character. But they just keep milking him. They keep milking him because they sell big ass little tickets and they, they give people enough identity to call themselves the Batman on Twitter with the Batman profile picture and the Batman cover photo. Uh... Good one. You you pointed out uh, he's got the Batman uh, and he's talking about the Batman. Hilarious.
I'd also like to think that adaptations and retellings of popular stories, characters, themes, and ideas are the reason why people love them after first viewing. Especially for comics and films. There's a product, a script, a character, or movie put out there, and for every single person that views the content, there's a reception to the work. One person sees and enjoys the parts of Batman that is an otherworldly force fighting crime. Another may see the symbol that he represents as fear incarnate, being used as a constructive tool for people to aspire to. Another may see, in the comic books, the values of making or breaking a family, and why both are so important to the great crusader. Any of these ideas can be fleshed out for a filmmaker to communicate to the audience. Of course, there are corporate heads that want to make money from these films, but I'd like to be a bit more optimistic and posit that if they really wanted to make a quick buck, why not stuff and smash as many comic book references and popular characters Characters into a Batman story because after all that is the most surefire way to get money more characters from other IPs means more eyes that are attracted to the product regardless of how good or bad the story is speaking of the Snyderverse that's mainly why it fucking bombed rest in piss not so much financially but critically as well oh, wait what's that holy fucking shit look at that it's a little embarrassing but coming back to the topic at hand there's a lot to read into in my opinion in his initial video, he said that he thought the movie would be like Knives Out? Why? And also, did you know that Knives Out is just another imitation of an already popular genre? Would that make the movie mid too? Or is it good because it has jokes and quips? Hmm, things to think about. I don't think we've had a superhero movie be groundbreaking. I mean, it was basically just the movie Seven with Brad Pitt with a worse mystery and a worse payoff. It was just setting up what is probably going to be another goddamn trilogy of Batman movies. Gr groundbreaking? Worst mystery? Worst payoff? How? Like, you made a nearly 10 minute response, so surely you would at least talk about at some sort of length about your thoughts on the film, because otherwise just calling everyone weirdos for shitting on your take would be silly. Like why? Why are all superhero movies mid cash grab? How's that different from a movie like Star Wars or even Knives Out? Surely those aren't cash grabs in any way. And what's the inherent thing wrong about trilogies based on existing properties? If there's a story to tell, why not tell it in the way that you see fit? The Dark Knight is a sequel in a trilogy. The Batman is the first solo movie in a possible trilogy and Knives Out is already set up its sequel and it's filming and about to be released so does that make Knives Out bad or mid mm -hmm. or does the quality of a story depend on the story being told and not the stories being set up fanboys of 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 Marvel or DC in this case they're right up there with k-pop fans they're they're brutal savages everybody was donking me in the replies, uh, just absolutely melting me. Hmm. To be fair, I saw some really, really dumb shit because of course there would be. Nothing right with saying it, nothing wrong with calling it out. A little bit wrong with dismissing everyone calling out goofy criticisms for being kind of dumb. Case in point. Nah, cause this scene was funny. It was kind of funny, but the whole time I was watching, I was like, God, it looks like a GoPro is strapped to his head. This is so fucking stupid. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. I was thinking like, what, why are they giving me the what she sees angle? <laughs> Wasn't funny, but you laugh at the scene because you didn't understand a point of view scene. Lol. I was like, God, this is the most mid ass mystery of all time. Why? The Dark Knight had more mystery and they have a character called the Riddler. His riddle sucked. Why? I, I don't know. The whole entire time I was watching, I was just like, I, the only redeeming quality the movie had was Zoe Kravitz being absolutely godlike. Bro, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. He said, haha, funny, pretty girl is pretty. Comedy, dude. Okay, so if you're here for a larger overarching criticism of criticisms, or a larger conclusion about media consumption, there isn't! Well, not as much a point as one of my larger videos. I'm here to lay my frustrations with this brain dead of a take. Ah, mid! Why? I don't know. Ah, ha, ha. Mid, 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 mid. Whilst saying stuff that doesn't make a lick of sense. I hate it. Uh, this may be just me, but I feel like everyone that says it just says it and expects people to give a fuck about it because it's the trendy thing to say about things now. Uh, MCU fans when there's no quippy one line. That's, that sucks because my argument was basically whittled down to... I wish it was more like MCU one-liner jokey jokey, which is not what I wanted. 
I more so meant I thought it would be fun to unravel the mystery and I would be trying to guess along the way what everything meant. But I didn't feel like that at all. But you literally said it was like a Marvel movie? It was like a Marvel movie without the comedy. With none of the comedy. And that it wasn't like you thought it would be. I thought it'd be more fun. Like, I don't think I laughed. There, I don't think there was a single joke in the movie. And that it should have probably been a fun adventure flick like Knives Out and Sherlock Holmes. But like, fun in like a Sherlock Holmes or uh what's that one with Daniel Craig where he solves a mystery? I thought it'd be like that. Knives Out. I thought it'd be like Knives Out, maybe. What the fuck? I didn't even feel like there was much of a mystery. And I feel like the villain sucked. The villain was, was dog shit. All of them. All the villains in that were like, were boring. Except for the penguin, who, who was barely a part of it. Nice. So in eight minutes of talking and recanting what happened, there's not really any explaining why it's dog ass. Great. Well, well. For me, at least, there were a number of flaws like the plot armor, convenience, and contrivance. As well as things like strong characterizations and a plot complex enough that it intrigues me to review it. It's a movie that I am so fucking glad wipes away all the bad juju and memories of Zack Snyder's Batman. I mean, he even saves people and does detective work. This Batman makes me feel like the writers and directors really wanted to tell a story that takes another look into the mind of why Bruce Wayne has such an obsession with the crusade he partakes in every time he suits up. For example, both the opening scenes with Riddler and Batman were some of the most engaging introductions I've seen for the two characters. Bravo. But yeah, this isn't much of a review as much as it is a response to Ludwig's fucking weird ass take on the Batman and his even weirder opinions, I guess. But uh, that's all I've got for today. Um, sorry I took like eight months to make a stupid small video, but um, in the meantime, fuck off. That's enough internet for me today. I am going to wash myself with holy water to get rid of all the stupidity I saw today. Thank you.